أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدعو اليتيم ولا يهد ولا تآم المسكين فويل للمسلين الذين هم عن صراطهم ساهون الذين هم يراون ولا ويمنعون الماء صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد I learned from Hussein how to be wronged and be a winner I learned from Hussein how to attain victory while being oppressed Hussein al-Luhari Al-Harib Al-Hussein Hussein Al-Shaheed Al-Shaheed Al-Hussein Hussein Al-Harib Al-Harib Al-Hussein Hussein Al-Shaheed Al-Shaheed Al-Hussein You are the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad Mustafa, the son of Imam Ali and Lady Fatima, the purest of souls with utmost purity. Yet thousands of so-called Muslims show no loyalty. They knew you entered the holy cloak by the will of Allah, yet shroudless they left you on the plains of Karbala. Hussein al-Harib al-Harib al-Hussein, Hussein al-Shaheed al-Shaheed al-Hussein. You are the lantern of guidance for all the world to see. The ark of salvation for all of humanity. Those who fought in your light called out your name. In your arms you carried them back till only you remained. Sakina, your daughter, went from crying in your arms to seeing your head on a spear in a court of sham. Hussein al-Harib al-Harib al-Hussein Hussein al-Shaheed, al-Shaheed al-Hussein. You are the root of the branch that sweet Zain al a branch that weakened with what his eyes had seen. He endured the scene of Karbala and held his belief. Added to his own suffering, no sign of his relief. The sight of women and children tied in chains. And hearing Zainab cry in pain, where are you, O oh Hussein? Hussein al-Kharib, Kharib al-Hussein, Hussein al-Shaheed, al-Shaheed al-Hussein. No Qasim, no Ma'an, no Muhammad, no Abbas, no Akbar, no Azhar, you lost them all so fast. Oh Allah, please accept this humble sacrifice. These were the words of Imam when a certain time arrived. Oh Allah, what has he lost? He who loses you. But oh Allah, what can he lose? He who finds you. 
You are the savior of Islam and our faith you did revive. Today we call Ya Mahdi, without him we are deprived. For surely he grieves over tortured beloved. And when we lament the trials faced by Ummul Musaib, Ya Mahdi tonight, we vow and we grieve with you in the light of al Hussein. together we'll fight for truth Hussein al harib al harib al Hussein, Hussein al-shaheed al-shaheed al Hussein al Harib al Harib al Hussein Hussein al Shahid al Shahid al Hussein Salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh It's the second night of Muharram It's good to see you guys again um, today we had a different question um, that we've been thinking about. One of the questions that we've been thinking about is why is it that we do matam every year? Why is it that we stand and we beat our chests every every single Muharram? What do you think? What have you been thinking about? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because to an outsider, to our friends, neighbors, family, or someone watching on TV, they might think, gosh, this is really unusual. Mm. And sometimes it may pe- might make people think, it's uh, not so great or it's strange and why are you hurting yourselves? But perhaps it's our responsibility to explain why we do that. And for me, one of the things that it makes me remember is that it's an expression of our grief, right? The story that we hear, like we talked about yesterday, evokes so much sadness and we're all so united in our sadness that we want to express that in some way. And for non-Muslim communities, they will do it in one way. For us, we will do that through Matam. But even in the way we do Matam, even that is done in different ways for different people. Yeah, right? I remember when I went to Ziyarat and I was in a harem. I can't remember which harem it was. I feel like Imam Ridal Islam's. Um, and there was a huge courtyard and it was around Muharram time and you could literally see that people were from different countries because of the different ways that they were doing Azadari. Um, you, pro- you probably remember when you guys have been and you've been to other places and you've, if you've ever been there for Muharram, you've probably seen some people stand in a circle and do matam, some people sit and they just cry and tell stories, um, some people their hands are way up there, right, doing matam. The point is, it's a, like you said so rightly, it's an expression, a way for us to show how sad we are for Imam Hussain One thing I also really like about it to think about while we're doing a matam is to as if it's we're saying we're giving bayat, we're giving allegiance to Imam Hussain and Imam Mahdi again and again. So every time my hand is here, um, it's like I'm saying I'm here, like la bayk ya Imam, la bayk ya Imam, la bayk. Whatever you need, whatever Imam Mahdi Islam needs, one day I'm here, I'm here. I think that's a really good way to think about it. That's beautiful. I really like that. You know that that kind of makes me think. I've got a question for you. Mm. Can you list all the different things that you do with your hand in a day? So many things. So many things. Have a think about it. Um, I wake up, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, and then um, when I go out, then I drive my car, and then maybe in the afternoon I do some work, some writing. Sometimes I do some painting. So many wow. things. A lot of things. Yeah. Your hands are always with you, right? They're connected to you. They're the one thing that goes with you everywhere. And your hand is actually so powerful. You listed so many things. I'm sure you guys can probably think of a hundred more. Alhamdulillah, how blessed we are that Allah has gifted us with these hands. And like I said, it's connected to us. We take it with us everywhere we go. So what an amazing tool to use in all these different ways to express our grief, to help people. But also, we have to remember, like we said yesterday as well, we're always so busy, all the things that you just described that you do in your day, We're so busy going from here to there, doing things for ourselves and other people. Maybe Allah wants us to just stop for a moment. Connect with 
Look, in fact, when you're doing mantam, you're connecting with your heart, right? 100%. And it's the one thing that keeps you alive. Allah has blessed you with this heart, blessed you with your hand. You're stopping and you're connecting for a few moments. You're bringing yourself to just remembering the story in your mind right now. Not thinking so much about all the stuff that's going on at school and all the things your mum and dad are asking you to do at home, but just the story that you're listening to now. How many times do you get through your whole day at work or at school and you don't even remember what happened? The day just flies by. So for me, Madhum is a bit, it's like it's grounding. It solidifies what you're listening to and what you believe in and how you're feeling. I'm sure you guys have heard of mindfulness, right? And your teachers probably make you use your hand to do starfish breathing and box breathing and balloon breathing and all that kind of stuff. Well, look, Allah has blessed us with our very own way so many years before all of the mindfulness stuff was introduced to us to just stop, be calm, remember what we believe in and make that Pledge of Allegiance, like you said, La Beik Ya Iman. I'm here, right now, listening to the story, feeling really sad, feeling perhaps even mad for all the injustices going on in the world and the injustices at the time of Karbala. And I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make a difference. Here I am, right now. So beautiful. That's so, so beautiful. I think sometimes you can get bogged down. You can think that there's so many... Um, sad things happening in the world you hear about so we've been hearing about for example Palestine and all the bombings that are happening there and all the people who are losing their families um, we hear about Yemen constantly and all the hungry children there so sometimes I feel like we can we can get a bit bogged down by all those things happening but I think there's a different way of looking at it when we think of how our hands can help people and um, when we think of the stories we hear and we read about of people helping people I remember reading about a young person who at the time of the tsunami, which was the big flood that happened, obviously there were so many people who needed help, but he couldn't go out and help. He was, he was not able to go out and help physically, but he knew he was very good at graphics, at designing things, at creating things. He looked at his hands and he thought, what am I good at? What can I use these hands to help people for? And so what he did was he designed all these t-shirts um, and he just basically made a design, created a design, put them on all these t-shirts and then sold them. Um, and he sold so many and he raised so much money, he sent that money to help. Um, so I think you're right. I don't think, that, I don't think that there's an age limit. I think if you just think at this time, there is something that everybody is good at. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a reason why he created each and every single person, including you. So there is something he saw when he created you, where he thought there was a reason, there's a reason to create this Fatima, there's a reason to create this Hassan, this Hussein. I'm creating this Muhammad for a reason. There's something I know that you're good at. It's about finding out what that good thing is and how you can use it to help somebody else. Absolutely. So perhaps when you're doing your Martha, be mindful, be in that moment. You know, Allah reminds us in the Holy Quran to remember him, to call on him. And also he says, do not grieve and do not fear. So yes, we're feeling sad, we're doing martyr, reminding ourselves of how tragic it is. But remember, like the Haramathia said, he's given you a skill to help. Use that moment in martyr to really think about what it is that Allah has blessed you with and what you're going to do with your hands. Every time you connect yourself to yourself, remind yourself of your blessings and how you can share them with other people to make a change. Hmm. Remind yourself of the fact that you are good at something and that thing, whatever it is, you're going to use to make Imam Hussain Islam proud. You couldn't be there on that day, I couldn't be there on that day, but I'm going to use this thing and every time I do it, it's going to be in Imam Hussain's name. I'm going to be doing it because Imam Hussain would do it if he was here. And be, like Azranti said, be present in that moment. So the thing that we want you to take away today is to, when this matam comes on next, to be present, to start, I know it's really comfy on your sofas, but try not to sit down, try and get up as if you were in Masjid, as if you were in Karbala. Imam Hussein is there with you. Imam Sajjad al -Islam is there. Every time there's a majlis, Bibi Fatima al -Islam is there. So that means right now, if you create the atmosphere of a majlis in your house, Bibi Fatima al -Islam is there. In the way that, for example, you can walk into that room and say, Salam Bibi Fatima, I know you're here. So when you're doing matam, Right now, we want you to stand up, we want you to 
take a second, think about why you're doing it, and make sure that you're thinking about how you can help Imam Hussein Laysalam with your helping hands. We're going to start you off. Really be present in that month, okay? When Dara Mathia was describing that, I had a shiver down my spine. So even just describing it really should evoke that emotion. Think about your mother, inshallah. Ya Hussein. Ya Hussein. Ya Hussein. Ya Hussein. Ya Hussein. Ya Hussein. Hussein. Hussain al-Shaheed al-Shaheed al-Hussain Hussain al-Ghalib al-Ghalib al-Hussain Hussain al-Shaheed al-Shaheed al-Hussain Salams on the head of my Mawla Hussain Salams on the lips of my blessed Hussain for days in the desert your body remained With thousands of arrows your shroud they became On the day of our buying when the millions will pray The grief on the morning for you, Ya Hussain Hussain al Garib al Garib al Hussain Hussain al-Shaheed al-Shaheed al-Hussain Hussain al-Gharib al-Gharib al-Hussain Hussain al-Shaheed al-Shaheed al-Hussain The screams of the children thirsty for water The duty was sent to of us our saviour The lion of God could be seen riding faster To reach Al-Qurat and to please his Sakina But how does he fall from the horse with no hands the flag of Islam lay bare on the sand. Hussein al Garib al Garib al Hussein. Hussein al Shahid al Shahid al Hussein.